Hello, my name is Sam, and welcome to another video on the S33 Electrical Channel here on YouTube. Today's topic, we're going to be doing an introduction video for electrical exam prep or electrician exam prep. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you may have heard me in, in a couple of my past videos talk about how important it is for uh, people who are getting starting, started in the trade to focus on getting their licensing exam. So I just want to do a quick introductory video to it. Um, this is just the 101 basics if you've never taken an exam and you're uh, set on becoming an electrician and career, this video will be helpful for you. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to get your code book. This is a 2014 NEC code book. Um, you can get them online on Amazon and sold separately you're going to want to get a, a packet of tabs. So you see on my book here we have uh, tabs on the side. So step one, if you're new to just completely new to this, is going to be to order your book. It's about 100 bucks, and then the tabs are going to be another 14 dollars on top of that. Uh, we're in a period right now; everything's about to click over to the 2017 NEC, so I'd recommend getting that if uh, you're planning on acting on this soon, or if you're watching it years in the future, just get whatever book is uh, is uh, currently out at that time. So that's a no-brainer on that one, but. Once you get your book and you get it tabbed out, the first thing I'm going to recommend is uh, just to go through and familiarize yourself with all the different things. Um, in the very beginning you have a page that's your definitions. Um, you're just going to want to know that that's there. There's a lot of questions on the exams that they base their questions off the definitions. Um, you're going to want to get into things like uh, 310.15b16. It's a table, that's your conductor and capacity. You're going to want to understand the differences in the tables of uh, conductors in a raceway or if it's conductors in free air. This is an important table to know. Another important table is going to be your motors on uh, table 430.251 or 230.250, uh, your full load currents for your motors. Um, depending on, you got to know the difference between single phase, three phase, and with most motor questions, you're just going to want to know the difference between what is it, what is it that you're looking for if you're looking for the conductors of the motor, the wire size, or if you're looking for overcurrent protection. To understand the difference between the two and find it in the code book, that'll be really helpful on your exam. Another important table is going to be your minimum cover requirements, and that's going to be on 300.5. It's going to tell you the appropriate links to put your um, conduits given the circumstance and location. Um, so that's pretty much, you're just going to want to go through this book and really get to know it. Another important one is chapter 9, tables 1 through 12. This is going to be your uh, it's so going to be your conduit areas and your raceway, how many conduits can you put into a raceway, um, so on and so forth. So if, uh, if you're new and you're, you're serious about being an electrician, um, definitely order a code book, get your tabs, and if you're not really ready to take your exam, at least have it and study it so whenever you are ready, you kind of have an idea of what's going on. You can go through and make some notes. Um, I'm not too sure if uh, if I'm going to go this direction. I have a dry erase board here. We could go through codes and we could talk about this code book. But I'm not really sure if that's what um, what you guys want. But so for now, I'm just going to keep it real simple. Um, I've given you some stuff to get familiarized with and. Um, yeah, this is a really big deal. It's really going to you have to uh, be successful in this career, in this trade, you're going to need to know this book. It's just a requirement. So there you go, guys. Uh, if you don't already have one, go ahead and order your code book. And uh, I'll be back again soon with a new video. Thank you.